Hey guys, so today I'm going to go ahead and swatch and review the My Little Pony collection from China Glaze. Um, it's a 12 piece set originally, and then they have two offsets. One has two colors that are in the core collection, this collection, and there's another one that's called the Songbird Serenade, which I also have, and I'll show you towards at the end of the video. So I have these broken up. I'm going to do the one, two, three, four. There are five creams. There is two shimmers. One is a matte. There's a linear hollow. There's two textured hollows. And then there's two like shimmery top coats. So I'm going to do the top coats last and I'm going to do them separately and over black there. So um, the caps are adorned with these phrases, kindness, magic, generosity, honesty, loyalty, and laughter. And of course, the My Little Pony logo. And you know, I needed this collection. Let me start off by saying I'm kind of underwhelmed with it. Um, I think China Glaze could have did better. I won't de-stash this collection because it is My Little Pony and it's the first collection. Well, the second collection. <clears throat> ever that I own the whole thing actually three because I have the oily la la land I have the ice age hollows that were at Kmart and then I have this so <clears throat> I won't get rid of it because again it is my little pony there is one from the songbird serenade <sighs> that I'm really torn I want my um I want my Claire Bear to have it but I'm not really sure because I don't know that I want to break it up or not. So maybe by the time I'm ready to de-stash uh, again, maybe that'll head on over to um, the United Kingdom to her. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. So first up, what you've been looking at is this pinky red. I also don't believe a lot of the colors go with, you know, this one is called Applejack of My Eye. Honestly, I think Applejack should have been an orangey color because Applejack is orange. Um, I know they're going with the red because apples, it's more of a pinky red. Um, and it almost looks a little dusty. These all had really good formulas, so I don't have a complaint on any of the formulas. So there it is on the brush. We're going to go ahead and swatch Applejack of my eye. This is one coat. I don't believe any of these are one coaters, but they do have good formulas. Okay, so that was Applejack of my eye. <clears throat> Next up is a yellow. And this is um, for Fluttershy, I believe. I'm not going to know all of them because I don't really watch My Little Pony all that much anymore. But, um, yeah. I think this is for Fluttershy. Fluttershy is yellow. And Kill Him With Kindness. And she hates to be mean to anybody. This is a pretty butter yellow. This is a yellow that I would actually wear. And if you know me, I don't like yellows. Yellows don't like me. Um, certain colors yellows are nice. So this is it on the brush. And again, this is a real nice formula, especially for a yellow. So here is one coat of Kill Em With Kindness. So of course it is going to go on a little sheer. Um, but that's, I mean, it's a yellow and it's a pastel type color yellow. So yeah, it will go on sheer and a little streaky. <clears throat> this next one is called Sweet as <clears throat> Pinkie Pie. And Pinkie Pie is a lot of a brighter pink. So this is like a pastel type pink. <clears throat> Pinkie Pie is a bright pink. Uh, because she's full of energy and loves to party. So I think this could have stood to be a little bit brighter. Um, again, it's a little muted. Again, another great formula. 
um, they are on the, the thin side, but that doesn't really bother me. I mean, this one here is not the formula. It's my application because I wiped too much off of the brush because this one seems to be a little bit watery. So that application kind of sucked, but that was my fault. So don't let that, don't let it fool you. <clears throat> Okay, next up is going to be Too Busy Being Awesome, and this is for Rainbow Dash. And Rainbow Dash is another one that's full of energy. She's the tough guy in the crowd, or in the group. <clears throat> uh, she flies around, zips around. Um, this one kind of interprets her a little bit. I mean, it's just a basic blue cream. Very pretty. Nice formula. I like, see, I said they are a little watery, but it's, you know, it's China glaze. Um, they're doable. So here is, <clears throat> if I get my hand out of the way, one coat of Too Busy Being Awesome. I don't know why my camera's going in and out of focus movement I guess okay next up are the oh nope this is still a cream sorry <clears throat> this one I don't believe goes after anybody this one is called cutie mark the spot and it's a very pretty pastel green I don't think my camera today is doing any of these colors their justice I think I got too dark. But this is Cutie Mark the Spot. This is coming up brighter on camera, but it's a very pretty green. So here is one coat of Cutie Mark the Spot. And a Cutie Mark is their little marks that they have on the side. Like Pinkie Pie's is um, the balloons. Rainbow Dashes is a rainbow with a uh, lightning bolt. Or a cloud with a lightning bolt that's rainbow colored. Applejack is apples. Um, so that would be their cutie mark. Okay, next is the two shimmers. This one here I needed. And when you see the name, you're going to know. If you've heard me raving on, interest, uh, on Instagram about it, you'll know what the name of it already is. This is called One Polished Pony. How can I not have this one? This one is very similar, thanks to to Claire, very similar in color to For Audrey. So if you like For Audrey, you're going to like this color. Um, this one is slightly lighter. And it's got this silver shimmer all through it. And the baby's waking up, so she might cry in a minute. And there it is on the brush. Shimmer is noticeable, I believe, if I remember correctly, when it's dry. On the nail, it looks a little more bluer than in the bottle. Very pretty. That was one polished pony. This next one is literally my favorite out of the group. Um, I don't know who it's in reference to. Um, it dries matte, but it's not one of those mattes like, um, Combat Blutes. Um, this is called She's a Main Eac. She's a Main Eac. And this is a beautiful bright pink with a purpley pink shimmer in it. <clears throat> It's beautiful. I love this one. This is my fa complete favorite out of the group. So here is one coat of She's a Maniac. <laughs> All right. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Okay. So next up is the Linear Hollow. And how, although I love the Linear Hollow... I really wish they could have done a different color. 
This one is called I See Ponies. Not quite understanding the C reference because <clears throat> it's a silver linear hollow, but it's kind of like a foily linear hollow. Okay. Here it is on the brush. And here is one coat of I See Ponies. This one probably has the best formula out of all of them. Very opaque on the first coat. Okay, these next two, very disappointed. Very disappointed. I'm kind of out of the textured um, thing. I won't buy any more time. Although I just lied because I did just buy Zoya's uh, Alice. It's the blue with the pink magenta shimmer in it. Um, but other than that, because it's, <laughs> it's blue with pink shimmer. Um, other than that, I'm out of the, um, I'm out of the textures. So this one here is called, Where's the Party Cannon At? And this is like a pinky purple jelly base with scattered holographic hex glitter. It's very pretty in the bottle. And it's very pretty on the brush. And it's not just textured because of the glitter. It is textured. It's like the Kylie Jenner Sinful Colors glitters that came out in the Denim and Bling collection. So here is one coat of Where's the Party Cannon At? Because my little ponies like to party. They like to party, party. Oops. Sorry, guys. Huh. I'm wrecking the joint. Okay. So next up is the sister to that. And it's called I Just Canterlot. And I believe Canterlot is the name of where they live. See, I'm so out, I'm so out of it. Although, my little girl will love My Little Pony, so I will start watching My Little Ponies again. But, I like my generation ponies, because they actually look like ponies. These ponies, they look strange. <laughs> but, I still like them. So, this is a purple jelly with the same thing, the same scattered hollow hex glitters. And I'm going to have to pause it a minute again. And here it is on the brush. Okay, so here is one coat of I Just Canterlot. And again, textured, just like the Kylie Jenners from Sinful Colors. Okay, next up, this is another disappointment. I mean, if this was opaque, it would be beautiful. Hang on. Yeah, so if this was opaque on its own, look how friggin' pretty that would be. But it's not. It's a topper. I'm going to show you on its own and over black. This is Let Your Twilight Sparkle. And again, I mean, Twilight Sparkle is purple, not blue. Um, but, yeah. And there it is on the brush. And I mean, you can tell just by looking at the stem how opaque or how thin it is. So here is one coat by itself of Let Your Twilight Sparkle. And then here is one coat over black. One thick coat because I let it glop up. Sorry about the movement and sorry about the freaking jiggling. Next one is called Hey Girl Hey. <laughs> um, I don't know if this is in reference to anybody or if they're just throwing that in because hey ponies. <laughs> this is, in my opinion, 
white cap with some there are some white it also looks like there's some iridescent flakes in there but there's also like down here you can see some white micro glitters but if you have or know of white cap this is basically white cap on drugs because um, of the glitters in there and I don't know if this one is textured or not I'm having a hard time if this is textured but there it is on the brush and you can kind of see like those white glitters there and again this is a topper here is one coat of hey girl hey by itself And then one coat over black and you can use it over any color I'm just going over black because it's what's going to give you the best um, color show off <sighs> so these all dry really glossy all of these creams dry really glossy of course, the Icy Ponies is going to dry a little semi-matte because of the shimmer. Here is the She's a Maniac with the dry. The um, Linear Hollow, of course, could just be about opaque on one coat. I do two coats of everything. And these two are, they're still not dry, but you could see they're textured. And I mean, maybe... Maybe I am wrong. Maybe they're not textured. Maybe it is just the glitter. This one feels really textured. I don't know. Maybe it is just the glitter. These are those two. Let your twilight sparkle. And then, hey girl, hey, you see those white glitters in there? I'm only going to do, um, maybe I'll do two coats of this one because it does look a little streaky. I'm going to do two coats of them by themselves, but let your twilight sparkle. I'm going to let go on one. Oh, well, maybe I'll do two. All right, well, whatever. I'm going to pause and come back after so the second coat. So I am coat back with the second coat. Um, ooh. Um, and I did go ahead and add top coat to one polished pony and I did another swatch of um, the hell's the name of it she's a maniac with top coat too so you can see all right so we have the red which is Applejack of my eye and then we have kill him with kindness here is Sweet as Pinkie Pie. We have Too Busy Being Awesome. This is Cutie Mark the Spot. These are all a lot, these are all pretty bright. Um, this one here, I top coated. This is One Polished Pony, and you can see the shimmer. This would probably look really good matte. Here is She's a Maniac. This is it matte. And then here it is, top coated. Very pretty, both ways. Here is I See Ponies. And I'm, I still don't understand that, but I'm wondering if it's supposed to be icy, like cold icy. I don't understand it, but whatever. But that linear is pretty noticeable. And I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty convinced now that it's the glitter that's making these two so bumpy so you're gonna want two coats of top coat if you're gonna want it to look because i would just take it as a textured polish regardless um that glitter is going to eat up the top coat so nice thick top coat this one is where's the party cannon at here is let your twilight sparkle oh wait nope sorry this one is i just canter lot here is let your twilight sparkle here's two coats by itself not very opaque at all just a topper and here it is over a black so you can see the purple to the sides 
and here is hey girl hey and this one is not textured it's just a little rough because of those little white glitters in there but this is two coats on its own so you could probably three coats and it would be opaque because i'm wearing a pretty dark polish and it's almost covered but here it is over black and you can see those white glitters there this is two coats over black and it has like an aqua teal shift to it okay so this is the oh wait i have two others to show you right i have the songbird serenade and it keeps jostling around this is the packaging it comes in i almost forgot about these holy crap um so this is the packaging it comes in it comes with a best friend ring which i know claire is actually going to get one of those okay so we've got these two polishes and i'll go ahead with the gold again not very enthused about the colors this one here is called best ponies forever and this is the one that i'm contemplating giving to claire and this is kind of like a tarnished gold so it's like a darker bronzier gold this is a really good formula However, I do want to say that without top coat, it is a little streaky, brush strokey. So here is one coat of, um, what the hell is it called? Best Ponies Forever. And this is very opaque, but you do want to kind of go straight as you can with those strokes. Some of them will go away, others will not. So that is Best Ponies Forever. And this one here is Songbird Serenade. And this reminds me of Butter London's The Black Knight with just finer milled glitter. There it is on the brush. This is in a blackened base. And I will put top coat on this after the second coat because it's going to dry down a little dull and i think in order to get those sparkles to come through you're going to want a top coat okay so give me a couple of moments i want to let those dry a little bit and then i'll come back okay, so here is these two from the songbirds are i top coated them the gold does have streaks brush strokes i need to make this quick because she hungry so this is best ponies forever and songbird serenade with top coat <laughs> okay okay so this was the whole china glaze my little pony collection uh let me know what you guys think let me know what your favorites were and also if you're going to be picking up this collection i'm also going to be starting a monthly hang on she's very vocal and she's being very miserable <laughs> time to eat okay so anyway i'm going to be starting a new monthly it's going to be called yays and nays <laughs> like the ponies nay um and that's going to be my monthly favorites so saying that i am going to go and feed her so i hope you guys enjoyed this and i hope you all have a great rest of your day and enjoy the rest of my collection videos that are popping up here and there and i will Talk to you all soon. Again, you can follow me on Instagram. Um, it's at Polished Pony. It's all listed down below. So, yeah, I hope you all have a great day. Thank you for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. Bye.